Hi, this is Gary DeBuck in Puyallup, Washington, USA. And this video is going to demonstrate a little quirk I have found in the various um, SR286 models that I've been doing modifications on. Uh, this quirk is digital display noise. Now this affects some units and it doesn't affect other units. Uh, I discovered this by accident after I did uh, five modifications on these, both for myself and others, but I want to explain this so that um, all of you can check your own model to see if it has this little quirk. Okay, the way to check this is put your SR286 into the AM band, medium wave band, select the whip antenna and extend the whip antenna for the entire length. Okay, um, and last step, tune the frequency to 520, which for most of us is going to be a totally vacant frequency. Okay, so once you've done that, you've got it on 520, and you've got the whip antenna selected, which is the external antenna selection. Then you set this out outdoors and turn up the volume. Okay, now I've got this stock model here. This stock model is um, the poster child of a problem SR286, okay? Now, let me explain what digital hash noise is from the display. When you put your hand over the digital display, you're going to hear some noise, okay? When you take your hand away, it'll reduce. But in this particular model here, on the whip antenna, with the volume close to max, you still hear the digital hash noise. Okay, this is not normal for the SR286. You should just hear a vacant frequency without this digital hash noise. Okay, so this is kind of like the poster child for a bad one. Now when you change the volume or the frequency, that hash noise is going to increase in volume. Okay, so I've done um, six modifications so far. This model here was rejected because of the digital hash noise. This is the worst of the six. Okay, I'm going to go to a different model. Uh, it doesn't matter whether it's supercharged or whether it's stock. You still have this problem show up on some models. I'm going to turn this one off. Put it down. Now. Here is a supercharged model with the same setup, whip antenna 520. Now, I'm going to check this one. This one has the same digital hash noise, but not at such a serious level. Okay, so you can hear the digital hash noise there on 520. There shouldn't be any hash noise. The hash noise increases when you put your hand around the cabinet or if you vary the volume. See, now when that volume uh, number legend on the display goes off, the hash noise goes down a little. I take my hand away. Now this model still has some hash noise. It's not quite as bad as this stock model that I just demonstrated, okay? You can still hear this digital hash noise on this model. I'm going to turn this one off. And go to this one, which is hash free. I've got it on 520, the whip antenna. This supercharged model is going to have the volume increased. I've got the volume practically maxed out on this. I don't hear any digital hash noise on this. Okay, so you're all curious. Maybe you have an SR286 and you have some digital hash noise. You want to know how all of these shake out. Out of six models, I have two of them, like this one, totally free of any digital hash. 
I also have two models which display moderate digital hash noise, like this model I demonstrated a few minutes ago. And I have two models that have pretty serious digital hash noise on vacant frequencies like 520. So that's pretty much the story. Check your own model. And if you do have digital hash noise, it depends on the vendor that you bought from, whether you can exchange it. Um, if you're like me and you purchase everything from um, the common vendor on AliExpress, Huo Guang store, you're probably stuck with it. Um, from the ham radio store, if you bought from them on AliExpress, they do offer a no questions asked 30 day exchange policy. So thank you very much for watching. Have a great day.